Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going once again? Your boy Nev from Nev's Tech Bits today. <clears throat> Mom, too. We gotta get the candles out. We gotta get Mr. KFC good to go. We got the ultimate muscle dude and the crystals over there just to make sure everything's romantic, everything's great, and just perfect for this review of this fine system, the Lenovo ThinkPad. P1 Generation 2, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. If you want to get a system good for CAD that'll actually meet SolidWorks system requirements for 2019, you've got to get a system like this that has a 4 gigabyte GPU. And man, you can really haul butt with that kind of stuff, let me tell you. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Anyways, anyways, really good system. I'm really impressed with this. This feels even more sturdy than a T-Series system, and T-Series are made to be rugged. It's not as cool as it was, uh, but I, I get the feeling that this is aluminum right here. It's got a acid kind of finish, and it feels really sturdy. If you pull this thing out, this thing's been running. I've been downloading Grand Theft Auto all day on this thing just to see how well it goes. And uh, Jesus, warming up pretty. Jeez, ooh, I wonder if I got a heat pipe up there because it feels really warm right there. I've just had it on. I've been downloading stuff with it. Over Wi-Fi, you know it takes a while. Anyways, you got the giant trackpad, and then of course you got uh, the red mouse mover. That uh, man, most people don't even use it, but people who love IBM stuff, who love Lenovo stuff, love the center trackpad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, let's get right into this stuff. Specs will tell us pretty quick. We get 12 core i7 9750 operating at uh, 2.6 gigahertz. We got an NVIDIA Quadro T1000 and a secondary Intel UHD graphics 630. Not too bad, but uh, the Quadro T1000, beautiful. <clears throat> That's a, it's a great bang for your buck. Definitely great, great bang for your buck. And a lot of people wonder why Quadro is more expensive. And Quadro is definitely made for CAD. Uh, and if you need everything to be totally accurate down to like fifteenths of a millimeter or something like that, then this is this is what you need. Anyways, you got 16 gigabytes RAM and man, that's more RAM than I'll ever need. Well, at least this year. So let's take a look at the system itself. Smooth, very nice finish on that thing. Over here on this side we got the headset in. We have the oh sorry, autofocus. We have the uh the mini Cat5 Ethernet, you got to get an adapter for that. It does not come with the adapter that I know of, anyways. I haven't found it in the box at least. HDMI 2 CPU, oh, not CPUs, it is uh, USB C, two USB Cs, and then two standard USB, actually, it's 3.0 SD card, and then uh, whatever card. I never use those cards, so I don't even know what their name are. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is that there's no battery. You can't just pop the battery out. It's internal. I don't like that because sometimes systems screw up in such a way that you just need to take the battery out to make the thing work better. You got a little slider up at the top here. You got a slider up at the top here so your system administrator can't watch you while you work. Really, who would do that kind of thing? And it was a little side story a while ago when uh, these things, when cameras on computers were getting popular, there was a kid that got his computer taken away from him uh, one of those computers you took home with you. You got some computer taken away from him because people, system administrators, were watching the camera and they saw a kid eating a lot of pills. Turned out to be Mike and Ike's. And why were you watching kids when they were at home? That's pretty creepy, right? But we all know that kind of computer guy that would uh, just be that particularly creepy. Now, one thing I'm really interested in is this is for CAD. This is for people putting in measurements and stuff. Why is there no keypad? This unit does not come with the keypad. What's going on there? I don't get it. This thing's supposed to be ultimately powerful, supremely powerful. It's supposed to be for code crunchers, and it doesn't have a keypad. That kind of sucks. It kind of sucks, but hey, it could be worse. Anyways, let's take a look at the inside, see if it got room for some more RAM. All right, so a quick look inside does not disappoint. Let me just get this set up here a little bit closer. You can see what I'm going through. We got dual heat pipes, which is really good. You always want to have two of them. We got two fans, which is just uh, excellent. Exactly what I want to see. Got this. That is a giant battery, actually. 580 milliamp hour. We got the battery. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a spot for a second, uh, a second SSD. Let me check that out. I think that's an NVMe. Don't quote me on that. One sec, let me have a closer look at that. That is a, yep, PCIe NVMe Opal. We got two six of RAM, which is great. We can rock us some dual channel. It's what I'm talking about, Bobby. I tell you what. 
I'll tell you what, Bobby. So, seriously, if anybody knows, is this the North Bridge? There's no way that could be the GPU, right? So they have to have a fan on that. This must be the CPU. That must be the GPU. That must be the South Bridge, actually. This is the North Bridge uh, intertwined these days. Interesting. We got a little shield here. I wonder what that's shielding. Oh, a connector. Okay. Connector to the battery. The battery looks like battery hooks up there. Unscrew here. Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty, it's good stuff. Man, I tell you, this. Backplate. Really sturdy. Oh, it is metal. That's flat out metal. No problem. Metal, metal. Yeah. These clips. They really fought me. They really fought me. So be prepared to have your credit card or your spudger out to deal with these suckers. Of course, we got to mention the uh, power brick. Interesting build. Haven't seen one look quite like this for a while. I had a Dell that had a big power brick a lot like this, but back in the day. Mark with Passmark Performance Test 9.0. You can see we got the dual video cards, the hard drive, the RAM. It's all good to go. Several minutes. So. I will come back to you guys when it gets to the video playthrough portion of this adventure. Oh wow, so this is the first test. Look at those planes go. 167 frames per second. Oh my god, I've never seen it run this fast. Holy crap. Four times multi-sampler. Dude, that's beautiful. Next up, we got the Space Rocks. I've never seen them go this fast before. 60 frames per second. Let me bump that up just a little so you can see at the top left. 60 frames per second, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I'm in love. DirectX 11. 140 frames per second. About 83 frames per second. What? You know, I'm being penalized 32% because I can't, uh, I can't do it at a max resolution. Who the hell is going to have a resolution like that on a laptop? Now that I save that, I'm sure that there's many of them. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, that's all I gotta say. This is literally the best benchmark I've ever gotten out of any system. The closest system is a P330 workstation. I believe that's last year's model. And that was a 6042. The next below it was a uh, 4300 i7-1070. THX-1070. That must be a server. Yeah, 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 that's a, that's a Lenovo server. But anyways, let's try another benchmark. Now here we got the Cinebench score, 2,141. And I'm sitting right down here. Not bad until Xeon. Okay. I'll test. Everybody loves it when I do a benchmark on Grand Theft Auto. I gotta say, this thing is really nice. This is really nice. It's, it's running perfectly. I did... Uh, review of the lesser P series units. I uh, I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what unit it is, but right now you get the P1 is the best and the P330 maybe something like that. Anyways, it was not pulling as much game. Maybe P72. I don't. It was not pulling as much game as this thing was. I'm not getting any lag. Everything's beautiful. Everything's exactly how I like it. Everything looks really freaking nice, and I can't complain. I can't complain. So yeah, we. That's the Grand Theft Auto benchmark. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. Ned from Nez Tech. But it's like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it. It helps me and the family out. And uh, definitely take a look at this unit if you're looking for something for CAD. It's interesting. It doesn't have a uh, numerical pad on the side, but I think I can get over that. So, oh, wait, is that a big truck? Is that a big truck? Oh, yeah, I know what I'm doing for the next 20 minutes. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other. Honk, honk, convoy.